In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the filter component. Already we have implemented the one type of filter out of three types of filters. So the first one is a date range filter and the second one is search filter and the last one is type filter. So already we have implemented the date range filtering. So now we are left with the two filters remaining two filters are search filter and the type filter. So if you select all you have to show all the types of rooms. If you select deluxe you have to show all types of deluxe rooms. And if you select non deluxe, you have to show all types of non deluxe rooms. So later we will style these things. First of all, let's uh, start with the functionalities. So first I am going to start, start the search functionality. So let's open the code. Here you can see this is the filter section. Already we have implemented the row. So for this row, I have already applied the margin top 5. So now I am going to apply remaining call MD threes. So already the first call MD three is for the date range filter. Now I am going to apply the second call MD3. Uh, this is the search filter. So I am going to write input field. Input type is equal to text. Class name is equal to form control. Form control. And uh, placeholder is equal to search rooms. Search rooms. And let's see the output. So I got this input field. So now let's add the shadow. So for the shadow, I am going to add class BS. That means box shadow. So already I have defined this class. Uh, where is it? BS, BS, BS. Let's search BS. Yeah, here you can see this is the box shadow class. So don't worry about the CSS. I am going to provide the complete CSS file. Not only CSS file, I am going to keep this code in the GitHub and I'm going to provide the link. So if you have any doubts in the CSS in my code, you just need to visit this index.css file and you can get all the styles. Because in the initial lecture on initial lectures only I have said we are not learning CSS, we are learning the logics, Monstack applications. So you need not to bother about the CSS, you can write your own. So I am just writing the CSS to work this uh, work smoothly because if the design doesn't look good, we cannot work. So there's the reason I am providing some basic CSS, not it's not like uh, supervision CSS. So it just it's just a uh, basic CSS and this is the search rooms and the next one is uh, filter uh, selection filter select. So remove this ID and name properties. Yeah, and in this I am going to provide three options. The first option is all and the here name also all and the second option is deluxe deluxe here also deluxe and the last option is non deluxe non deluxe here also non hyphen deluxe control s now let's see so i think we haven't applied any styling for the select option as of now so here you can see that's the reason it is showing like this so now let's i'll go to the index.css and whatever the styles we are applying for the input fields we need to apply for the selection list also so i'm just writing select here select so here you can see I got the selection list. So I'm going to apply width is equal to 100%. So it will take the complete width of the call MD3 with 100% important. So uh, why it is came down? Let's see. We have so we haven't applied the call MD3 for the selection list. Let's apply dot call MD3. Yeah, now keep it here. Yeah, now it's looking good. So uh, let's apply the form control class for the selection list. Uh, where is it? Uh, here you can see class name is equal to form control. Now I think you will get the good height. Yeah. So for the input field, uh, we have applied already call MD3 with 100%. Everything is correct and to get uh, to style these entity component you just need to add some more things here so here you need to add one more class because it is an entity so if you want to find the entity classes you just need to click on this 
click on inspect and go to the uh, here you can see so this is the class name is equal to ant picker separator ant picker range separator ant picker input all those things so you need not to worry about these things i am going to provide the complete css file so you can replace the css file in your uh, component so here you can see for the parent component you just need to copy this ant picker class copy it and paste it here dot ant picker so you will get the styling as per the input field so here you can see uh, you got the styling so in the date range we again we are having the styles for the start rate start date and end date so now i am going to remove this so click on it and inspect so for that you have the classes like and picker input and and picker input active so for both these classes i am going to remove the border so i have already copied and here i am going to put so don't forget to put dot because it indicates the class yeah so here i am going to write border none none important let's see uh refresh the page so i think we have to put comma here so it's not uh, parent and child element it's separate separate elements i think so again it is not working so let's see in the inspect so this is the problem with the out of bootstrap uh, components you cannot find the classes easily so every time you have to go to the inputs all those things so and picker and uh, so here the hierarchy is and picker input is the class name and in that again you have the input field so i will write and picker input and in that again input field yeah border none important yeah now it's gone so for this also i'm going to apply the border radius Uh, where is it yeah input so for the all in the input fields i am going to apply border radius is equal to 3px i am going to apply the common height height is equal to 35px height is equal to 35px important so all the filter elements height will be same yeah now it's looking much better so let's apply the functionality for the uh, input search functionality first so first i am going to take one input field value so i am going to take one state const search key and set search key set search key is equal to use state initially it is empty and i am going to select one more value const uh type type set type is state initially it is all because whenever the component is rendered we have to show all the types of rooms so now for the input field i am going to apply the value uh search key value is equal to search key uh and here i am going to apply on change on change is equal to arrow function e is the parameter set search key e dot target dot value and here i'm going to write on key up event so for every change in the input field i'm going to uh, call one function filter by search filter by search so this is the function i'm going to call so i will implement it here function filter by search so before implementing this search we have to make some changes in this div so in this div we have three steps first it will check the loading then it will check the rooms dot length is zero if the loom to lo rooms dot length is zero it will show the error component so this hierarchy cannot be worked in the if we have the search filter because whenever the search keyword uh, doesn't match any keywords with the uh rooms which are available so it will show the error because here the room lengths will become zero so that's the reason you have to remove this error component 
so i hope you understand that i once again i will explain so whenever we uh, search any things in the input field the rooms dot length will become zero so automatically it goes to the error stage so it should not work like that it should work only loading and items so if the uh, rooms dot length becomes zero it should show loading if the uh, if there is no rooms it just show the blank screen you should not show the error so now i am going to remove it and here instead of this uh i am going to remove here so if there is no loading just show the rooms available that's it so i would have tell this uh, last lecture only uh, but i forgot sorry for that so now here i am going to write so first i will take one array const temp rooms equal to duplicate rooms dot we cannot uh, filter the original rooms that's the reason i have taken duplicate rooms uh, duplicate rooms dot filter for every iteration i am going to take the room object room dot name dot uh, to lower case uh, dot includes inc includes so i am going to write search key dot search key dot to lower case not to local lower case it just to lower case that's it so i am going to update the duplicate uh, original rooms array with this temp rooms set rooms temp rooms control s now let's search so initially it will show all the values now i am going to search these uh, spot keywords so it should show only the this hotel that means this room so i am going to write spot here you can see it is showing only one room if i click back so it will show the remaining rooms so now i am going to search this metro keyword metro so here you can see it is showing only metro keyword so like this way it will work now let's do the same thing for the selection list so for the selection list we have the values all deluxe and non deluxe so again we have to convert it to the lower case in our function so here i am going to apply the value uh here i am going to apply value is equal to so value is equal to type and i am going to apply on change same on change is equal to uh uh filter by filter by type filter by type so for this i am going to call the uh, pass the parameter e dot target dot value that means selected option here i am going to write function filter by type yeah so now i am going to first take the parameter e and same uh, const temp room is equal to temp rooms is equal to duplicate rooms dot filter room is the iteration object room dot type dot to lower case do that's it to lower case equal to equal to e dot to lower case that's it so here you should not use includes here you have to use equal to because it is a selection list so now i am going to uh, uh, update the rooms set rooms temp rooms control s that's it let's see so here uh, if you observe we have the first one deluxe room second one deluxe third non deluxe fourth and fifth are also non deluxe so now i am going to select only deluxe rooms here you can see i can able to see only second one and third one uh, not second one third one first one and second one now i am going to select non deluxe so here you can see only non deluxe so if i select all it should show all but it is not showing that's the reason you have to apply the condition if the selected item is not equal to all then only you have to filter if it is equal to or you should not filter you have to update the same value so copy these two statements write if condition if is not equal to equal to all then only you have to filter else you have to do this just update the rooms with the duplicate rooms set rooms so instead of temp rooms you have to write duplicate rooms
that's it so let's select dlx it is working non dlx it is also working now let's select all so here you can see so if you observe here if i select dlux the selection list value is not updating but the uh, hotels that means rooms are updating because we are not updating the selection list here so there's a reason here i will update the selection list also so i'm going to apply set to type e now it should update here you can see dlux only dlux non dlux all so our filter component is completed Thank you. See you in the next class.